All right, welcome to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. Today we're going to look at a uh, AccuProbe's UV leak detector um, made by Yellow Jacket. So I saw this in the store and thought it was really cool because of the UV deal. So sometimes people, there's different schools of thoughts on whether or not you should use dyes when looking for um, leaks and different things like that. Or, um, there's debates about whether it's harmful to the system or not. Um, and each person that produces one, of course, um, you know, they have their theory as to how it is. Nonetheless, uh, the deal is it's out on the market and sometimes it would be a good idea to have um, something that can detect leaks and also um, has the UV capabilities to make those type of detections as well, all contained within one machine. So that's what this AccuProbe leak detector is. You can open it up, comes in a convenient little carrying case um, that you could open. Uh, sturdy, hard, hard plastic, so that if in case you drop it or it flops around in your truck or whatever the case may be, um, you're not going to damage the instrument. When you pop it open, um, it's got a nice foam uh, protection there. Your instructions come with it. Um, the leak detector itself um, with the, the compartment to hold that. You're going to go ahead and get um, a package of four AA batteries to power the unit. Um, it also comes with uh, this little testing kit. So once you take your leak detector out and you get it all set up, um, you can actually test it um, with this, whatever this stuff is in here, um, according to the, to the, to the, uh, the instructions and, and make sure that your leak detection, the leak detector is calibrated and working properly. It also comes with these little filter replacement things. Now my hands are way too big. I had the hardest time kind of getting a hold of them, but you take these out and then you're actually going to replace those uh, once the filter inside of the sensor becomes uh, dirty and you need to change it out. When you look at the leak detector itself, um, you'll notice that it has a, a high normal or low normal and high sensitivity setting. This window is going to tell us the size of our leak in the range of one to nine. Now it does not say what one to nine means. It just says it's going to show you the size of a leak in the range from one to nine. So once you turn the unit over and put your batteries in, I went ahead and uh, did, took the liberty of put, doing that for us already. There's a couple of things that you do need to notice. Number one, when you screw the tip off, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the camera, but that little white filter is on the inside of that tip. And also, uh, so that's what you would have to, to change out when you get ready to change out the filter. Screw that back on. And also the little sensor as a whole comes and it has to line up with those little pins on the inside of that to put it together. Now, once you get it all in, you have to make sure that it's on there pretty snug because if it's not seated right, once you turn it on, the warm-up period will go for a long time if this is not seated right. So I did it a couple, three times, and the first time it, it took a while and I, I, I adjusted the sensor and did it again, and then it was about 20 seconds, and I did it another time, and it was about you know a minute. So I think it varies. You have to make sure you get this on just right or else that warm-up period will be very long. We'll go ahead and we'll start it up and once we start it up, we'll uh, just, it just hit our power and you'll hear it start to, to beep. Now that slow steady beep is the warm up period. Once that slow steady beep increases and becomes rapid, um, now the leak detector is ready for use. Also on here, I'll show you this while we're waiting for that. Also, um, once you hit the UV button, um, you'll see the UV light bulb, or the, the UV detectors at the top, um, in case you have to, uh, you have a system that has UV, and all you do is just hit the button on and off, and now you can search um, for your UV leakage. There it goes. Okay, so you'll notice 
that you can hear the, the instrument running and our beeping has changed from the slow steady beep that we had um, in the beginning. Also you'll notice on our indicator, our LED lights here, we are on, we are on set to normal sensitivity. So this leak detector can also pick up both um, R22 and 410A. So whatever school of refrigerant or whatever class or category refrigerant it falls into, this leak detector is, is calibrated to be able to detect both those types of refrigerants. We'll take out our test bottle and once it goes um, on the screen here we have we don't have any numbers there. So what we'll do is we'll open up our test bottle and the instructions say that we should see a number greater than two. But we open up our test bottle, we'll place our test bottle down and then we'll kind of point our, our deal right into our test bottle and we should get a reading. So it reads up to, up to five right there. So we'll go it again. And so it's supposed to be above two. So as long as that number is above two, um, according to the manufacturer, our leak detector is now ready to go. There, and to turn it off, it's just a simple push of the button. We'll put our, our testing kit away. Put that neatly back in our bag. Fold that up. Batteries go back in. And now we can uh, put our leak detectors, put it back home in its convenient little carrying case. And we're off to the next job. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. And that was the AccuProbe UV leak detector by Yellow Jacket. See you next time.